Hello everyone. Welcome to the day 3 of Capstone Project series. The final day. It will be more fun day because we are going to deploy your working A agent to live domain. It will be super fun day because your entire A agent becomes a live deployed application on the internet. Yes. Today you go from working code to a real world deployment. From local project to a publicly A app. From student to A engineer. So if you are ready for final level smash that like button your support always gives me the motivation and gives more energy to create new videos let me give you the small recap what we done in the day one and day two in day one we identify our own track for the track we come up with the problem statements along with the architecture in the day two we completely worked on the working code and we fixed the issues and finally we pushed our code to the github if you miss those day one and day two, I would highly recommend you to watch those two records and giving you the link on top. All right, let's jump into the our lab. Before we are going for the deployment, I want to mention two things. I made a couple of changes to make product little better. So basically, I made uh, changes to the six files: evaluator, planner, worker, observability, main agent, and uh, tools. I'm just pushing this code to the GitHub. Available now. Let me show you the code. Now we have pushed latest code to the GitHub. So I would like to mention second point. I selected the hugging face portal to deploy it, but you can use any other tools or any other portal based on your interest. How we can generate our code to support the hugging face? I created one prompt. It is a universal prompt for the hugging face deployment. Give your GitHub URL here. And here you can notice that I have written a couple of statements. Then copy this. Open the chart GPT paste that prompt here you can notice that there is a download file available here and it was giving the all the instructions also what need to be done and how you can push your code to the hugging face everything all the details are available here however i am going to show all the steps you can download that zip file whatever it is available on top but in my case i could not able to download it then you just mentioned that not able to download once you do that again it will give you the one more link just click there and save into your local machine then it will be available here where you stored now you just unzip it extract once you extract it will be like this so here you can notice that there is a default one so what you have to do is just delete that under that whatever it is delete it okay now go to the place where your code is available actual code copy it just paste here that's it we are ready for the deployment here if you open the code app.py you will see this kind of code available here so basically what we are doing we are creating one ui to see that in action to provide our prompts okay close this and here one more file is requirements gradio basically we are using the gradio ui all right we are good now you have to sign up open this hugging face dot code dot in give you your email id then just go next sign up okay once you sign up you will be seeing this kind of dashboard then click here right side new space give your project name space name basically then give some short description maybe you can copy paste whatever it is available in the github and give the license license you can give mit make sure that you select the gradio cp basic so no need to change anything just click on create space now you have two options one option is you can clone this repository to your local and you can push your code to the space second option is you can push the code directly from here up to you how you want to do it suppose you want to clone this to your github desktop then you have to do access token you have to click here i already created one token so new token basically you have to set up all these settings suppose you want to do it through github one more thing i would like to mention you have to add your google api key click on this settings scroll down click on this uh, new secret just enter the name google api key and go to your uh, google a studio and copy this paste it paste that value and click on save now we have to push the code right to this domain click on files then click on to contribute upload files then whatever we created that folder right drag and drop all these three files like this 
that's it then give some comment comment that's it all your code will be pushing and your will be started building finally once you complete your deployment you will see similar kind of ui but you may not see exactly same ui whatever you are seeing here because i tweaked a lot uh, to make it better in first prompt you don't get this kind of ui so you have to spend some time once you deploy your code this is a kind of ui you will see it and you will see on top running okay here this is where we can give the prompt let me give you the prompt so i asked chat gpt to give the test cases go to this ui paste your prompt click on send see our agent is deployed on this hugging face and it is working as well it is written something then we can see the logs also click on info we can expand this if you don't see anything refresh logs we'll see something see some information it printed so guys this is the process to deploy it now we'll see how we are going to submit this project in the kaggle let's go there now we'll submit our project so you just go to this page click on this link so you will be seeing this kind of page and still we have enough time seven days click on this view write-ups click on new writer here you should have title subtitle some image and if you have your uh, architecture images if you remember in the uh, day two we have created the images using the google gemini AI, right that image also you can upload it here and you have to select this specific track and if you recorded any video you can upload that youtube link also so we have to fill all this information problem statement why is and demo everything so if you already have this uh, handy and if you want to do it your own that is good you can do it otherwise again we can use the chat gpt to do this i'll show you how to do that using chat gpt to create this documentation you have two options first option is very straightforward you just give this prompt and give your github url as well okay then copy paste this open chat gpt then paste it here okay so just click on hunter it is generated the title subtitle everything for you suppose you want something very detailed in that case what i would suggest is just select the prompt one which we ran okay paste it here select your track what was your track your track was our track was agents for good then again it will generate that then run the second prompt basically we are running the prompt one and prompt two you just paste that exactly here now running the second prompt it executed now on top of this response we are going to say that just run the other prompt now you run that prompt you will see the magic You are seeing right it's providing more details however we required the 1500 words so this is the second way you can generate the documentation suppose you want one thumbnail for it it's generating the thumbnail for you so you can create your own uh, images based on your interest that's it guys now i'm going to show you how we can properly format and paste it into the kaggle portal let's go there now i hope you are ready with your write-up page title subtitle as you know we created through chat gpt click on edit image placed 560 to 80 pixel suppose if you don't have exactly same then give that to chat gpt resize to 560 to 280 so just go there we uploaded the 560 into 280 and this is the one it is showing thumbnails let's see we click on save it uploaded here select the track our select is suppose you have some photos or youtube link you just give your youtube link here suppose you have any architecture images 
then still you can give that as well okay once we upload the image then i already copy pasted the description here i can notice that double asterisk and hyphen is there so whenever you want to make your font is bold give this double asterisk suppose you want your font in the italic then give only asterisk similarly you can use the code if you want any codes all these options you can try now we are going to add the link get the link from here added the link you can get the description also okay title get the title then description all right insert link we clicked on that right all right we are good click on submit you can notice that deadline is december 2nd 2025 129 am click on submit okay all right submit good we submitted okay all the details are available here we're good even my hugging space deployment here also i provided here once you click there we can launch it if you want to revert your submit you just click here retract your submission once you click on this retract you can resubmit again all right guys with this note i completely showed you the full process as i promised congratulations because you completed the caption project with your own idea with your own code by taking help of a tools now you are a engineer because you thought about problem statement you created the architecture you created the code you debug the issues you fix that issues finally you push that code to the github then you deployed into the domain finally you submitted that product in the kaggle portal so basically you implemented end to end a project now i hope you understand the complete software development life cycle in these 3 days this is exactly what real a engineers will do in the companies let's continue building incredible things together if you really like this video hit this like button and share this channel with one friend that helps to your friend and our channel also thank you all